anyone that doesn't love the sound of music. It speaks to your heart. It's a story that is has the most beautiful music there is. It's Rodgers and Hammerstein. What I think Jack O'Brien has done rather brilliantly as the leader of this team is really done exactly what he said he was going to do. There are things in this production that will be surprising to people. What Jack has done such a great job at is he's found so many new levels in it, but at the same time has not taken away anything that people love about the show. I am 16, going on 17, I know that I'm not. It's all there in the script, and I feel like he's just excavating themes that have maybe gotten lost in previous iterations. When I say you can count on the fingers of one hand the American theatrical pieces that were real, this actually happened. And to approach the piece with great respect and joy and reverence, but from substantiating the idea that these people lived and died is pretty powerful. Rogers could just write a melody. I mean, he just knew how to write a melody that would stick in your head. And then you place on that Hammerstein's ability to, to write lyrics that paint pictures, but also give you something to think about. And I thought, wouldn't it be great if instead of a great leading lady over the billing, we discovered a star. And so I started looking for what I consider to be the world's best babysitter. It's crazy that people who've played the role before, Julie Andrews and Mary Martin, are wonderful, these brilliant performers. And so it does feel a little daunting to begin with, but, but Jack O'Brien was wonderful about sort of liberating me from feeling like I needed to be either of those women. There's just an untainted quality about her that's really beautiful. That's what Maria is. She has that it factor, and it's really, really great to, to see a young artist just come out, and she just has a lot of natural talent. Feeling sad, I simply remember my favorite things, and then I don't feel so bad. It's really about the triumph of the human spirit, and about family, about love. It's about learning to accept love and give love. I think at its heart, it's kind of about finding your place in the world. There's something about the story and the music that people can relate to, no matter if you're 8 or 80. L.A. will be surprised.